Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Adopia. For those of you that are new, today we are reviewing the beauty of Josian Matte Sandstick that was created in partnership with Glow by Ramon. The notes that came with the package was like a YouTube intro. Hello, hello. My name is Ramon, I'm a statistician, cosmetic chemist, lover of Korean sunscreen. It's a matte sunstick, and I see how him being an oily skin creator and being a cosmetic chemist that came to the fore. So for us, the oily girls and boys, Beauty of Justin already has a sunscreen, Leaf Sun Rice and Probiotic SPF 50 PA 4 Plus. This is a lightweight sunscreen which I already tried and demoed on Instagram. I love how lightweight it is, but what I don't like about it is that the Tinusorb S is very difficult to work with. When it does blend, it leaves a very slight cast, if you can tell see but it goes away after a while it just gets annoying when it's in the hairline and around places where you may have texture my perspective is from a deep skin girl with oily skin and in a temperate region where it is very hot so we would see if this is great for summertime or warmer weather as well i haven't checked the price to be honest so we are about to find out together this is 18 grams or 0.63 ounces of product so it's not a lot of products but it is quite compact how do i know i have enough protection from this so what i did or what i've been doing is i apply two to three even layers across my face ears and neck and then pat it in that's how i have been applying it for coverage and i make sure that every single you know surface of the skin has been covered the back of my neck and my neck as well because your hair is not a hat I'm going to leave his review of the product in the description below if you're interested in the formulation over here i'm giving you a consumer perspective and we are not delving into the science and the formulation and stuff like that i applied this the very first day with very little skincare prior washed my face used a serum the very first time and i applied this when i am patting it in or smoothing it across my skin it has this velvety feel and it looks it does look matte now let's talk about reapplication this is so easy and convenient to reapply with when you pop this in your purse or in your bag you can discreetly go reapply your sunscreen throughout the day no problem without drawing much attention i just put this in my bag sat in my office one day i had been out for a while i had no makeup on i just wiped down the sweat and the oils pop this out of my pencil case it fits inside like a glove took this out rolled it out and just applied it quickly and nobody noticed that i was reapplying my sunscreen but had i used this i would have been caught in hd applying my sunscreen everybody would be like hey if you are traveling and need to reapply your sunscreen this would be very easy to reapply and pop it back it leaves no white cast even though it has tinosorb s as well we are going to try today reapplication on top of makeup as the other creators have been doing and we are going to try it here in 4k he said this wasn't formulated for that purpose but if you wanted to try that you should definitely dab and pat down your natural oils before you reapply i have a cosmetic pad here that i'm going to use to dab off some of these oils that i have and a little bit of sweat that i have as well okay i'm going to start from here they claim it didn't pick up product, so I'm praying that it doesn't. So it definitely picked up product, but I have a full face of makeup, foundation, blush, concealer, setting spray, all of that. Personally, I don't know if I'm going to apply this. If it's picking up the product, I don't know if it is actually leaving product on my skin it is picking up product but it's also leaving a lot of the makeup behind and it is moving the makeup a little i don't know if you can see let me zoom all the way in okay i don't know if it's picking up on camera but i see that it's moving it moved a little bit of my blush it's like a radiance eraser <laughs> okay over here do you see that it moved a little bit of the blush um after i was done this is how much product it picked up so i guess it did leave some products behind now when it comes to hygiene a lot of people are concerned because if you've already applied this on your face how do you keep it clean it is anhydrous so there's no water in there which you need for bacterial growth so all i have to do is to get wipes or tissue paper to just clean it up um personally i don't wear a lot of makeup so this is not something that i think i'll be reapplying on top of makeup but anytime i do makeup it's usually nighttime anyway and the kind of makeup i do for every day if it is daytime it's just like mascara and lip gloss and a little powder and by the time i'm ready to reapply my sunscreen um the powder would have left my face anyway so personally i don't think i can apply this safely on makeup oh this it 
it doesn't it doesn't look good to me <laughs> i'm so glad this is the last thing i have to film today because this would have been a disaster it does not take away from my other thoughts of the product that said between these two sunscreens i definitely prefer the sun stick over this one not to bash this product this is a really good product but with this one it leaves no cast behind and give it like two minutes it settles in and there is no white cast at all if you are not going to be running around you stay much throughout the day it's just your natural oils that will come through as time goes on but if you dab it down and reapply you're not going to look very greasy at the end of the day if you're running errands or you're walking about personally i'm not always home i work in a law firm and it is litigation heavy so i go to court almost every single day sometimes you have to go up and downstairs sometimes you have to go move from one court to the other especially if you have a number of cases that day on days like that i will look greasy with or without the sunscreen at the end of the day on my way back to the office I did look shiny like an oily girl is supposed to after several hours of the day. I noticed a new pimple pop up here and another one here and one more around here. I noticed two of them when I started using the sunscreen. Then again, it could be a number of reasons. I have normal to oily skin. My skin is not acne prone, but every now and then I do get a few zits, but just that these two came up very close to each other and I was really reapplying this because I was aggressively testing it out. There could be a number of factors. But earlier and earlier over the past few months, I have taken a hormonal pill very recently and it was around the time that I started using this sunscreen. My diet has changed. There has been a lot of junk and oil that has been consumed and sugar as well. So all those things could play a role in these zits randomly showing up on my face. So I can't wholly ascribe it to this i would you know give you an update if i believe that it's the one that is breaking me out I'm really happy for ramon for his journey so far such a huge achievement and accomplishment leave a thumbs up leave <laughs> leave a thumbs up because it helps with the youtube algorithm oh my god you guys free me already <laughs> i'll see you in the next one